I will name uh, my name is I don't call Indo name Mani Katne Nona. That's my Indo name. When I was young, I never had no education, no school. I was in the country all the time. My parents taught me. Then after I got married, I had education in Montreal, training teacher. I just had teen no Amon. First I was in, I was working at the school of Benjamin. I would help teachers, teach eight and three years. After three years I went to Montreal to train in teacher. When I came back I had certificate their teacher and I teach them quick two and three. I have just a half an hour a day. You know him on and quick quick one, quick three, quick two, quick three three classes a day. And after a year again, I had grade four, grade five, and six. And they already <clears throat> speaking to all students, and they were already you know. And after I finished, maybe I did some two years or three years, maybe. Grade four, five, and six. And again, I started again seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> I didn't have no book, no history book. Just I did them what I saw in, in the country what I seen in my culture and my parents what they teach me. My parents teach me first what they called in the in the hood in the wood what they call thing there. Like the trees you know, plants, everything, and the lakes, and animals, what they call animals, and what we had eat animals, what they do in animals after kill. That's what they taught me and teach me. That. And <clears throat> my father, I go, when we go hunting, when you go, uh, like small games, fish, rabbit, badridge, bucket pine. Until when I 12 years old, I go with far away. When you go hunting caribou, not very far. Because I was so young. My dad didn't want me tired. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I use my snowshoes all day. That's why I teach, <clears throat> when I teach the school in Panamit, that's what I teach the, uh, the students, what I learned from my parents, what taught me. And those grade nine, I teach them spiritual. And uh, the parenting, you know? Kinship. Everything I teach, great nice. They like it spiritual. 
but they didn't see that. And I see like the shaking tent, drum, drum, but drum still using the day, but not like before. And animals, the bones, and some people, they understand the birds, what the birds saying when they're singing, like known. And the small little owl, you know, some the bird, the bad news, some the bird, good news. And I, I teach them what, how to clean calibo. And uh, safety, not to walk in the lake, just to tree these fruits in the lake, not to walk there until a week through the lake. And uh, <clears throat> not to come in when the wind, when the big lake. and hunting fish because I saw my dad when they fishing and when hunting calibo and beaver, those small games, bad rich. That's when I showed them. When the boys, when the, <clears throat> the boys, they teach them a son and grand, you know, grandfather, grandmother, and, and the mother teach them the girl. They're making crafts, something short, uh, moccasins, mittens, everything, clothes. They're using calibre hide. So many things <clears throat> in the country to teach, but we don't have no history book. Until after years, I had one the man told us that they don't. This book helped me a lot in history. You see that uh, hit there? It, a lot of things there. A beaver and calibo hat and fish. Uh, down here, the Chicago. Spear. Spear, fish spear. And uh, fish mouth. And other, as a beaver, as a geese, as a tree with the grow thing. This book is I use in the lab because from both from Sitio. But this book is talk about the, when you was a chief, first in chief in the city, talk about a little bit the politics. <laughs> I call them you know, politics <laughs> when you talk about in in the country. And that's many he was very good. He was grow up doing the country. He teaches me his parents and other people. Make me, I didn't have just teach me my parents, other people too. What I seen and what I hear that the story. Some stories I didn't, I didn't see. 
was that I just hear that my grandfather, my grandmother, to tell us. The girls one first teach them is his mom. The daughter teach them how to clean in the tent. Because the tent we change them twice a week about on the floor. Not to make dirty. And <clears throat> the clean in the tent. They always the girls do the dishes. Okay, with water, get some water in the lake or in the river and put them on the stove for warm water. They use it for washing dishes. And mom's cooking. The girls look at when he's cooking. I will, I will remember my mother, my mom, my my grandmother, when she cooked rabbit and badgers and fish. And she makes the pie too, no oven. Nothing there, just stop. He make jam and he make pie. And we didn't have nothing but junk food. Only Christmas we had candies. She made Manassas candies. That's my candy, Manassas. I should have bring some kind of candy <laughs> Make it this morning. I forget what that is. <laughs> that was good. That's why I eat uh, Christmas pies and donuts. Donuts with molasses and raisins. Sometimes she used in berries. My grandmother, she teaches me a lot of things. But my grandmother, my mother, when I was eight years old when she died. And my grandmother looked after me and my dad. Not only me, like that, the other families thought the same. They teach them moms and daughters and the sons. Fathers teach them how to hunt. When they teach them the first, the boys, <coughs> they teach them <coughs> how to save, like I told you before, not to walk in the lake, and not to canoe in when there's uh, too much wind, and not to go the far away until when he's 16, he was like his father. He spent overnight anyway. That's he knows now. He, he teaches the fathers. He had caribou, okay, uh, black bear, other beaver. Before, <clears throat> when there was no school in Shishiji, you know, people, they teach them own kids. And sometimes the other people teach them. I never been to school when I was young. No kindergarten, nothing until when I was in training in Montreal. <clears throat> but anyway, I, I understand a little bit English, but not very much, especially psychology, what I don't understand. It's good to, <coughs> when you work together, like, White people, you know people, Inuit people, that's nice. You learn a lot of things. Like when I was working in the Pinamid, I worked with the white teachers. I liked that. That was helped me a lot. 
And when they ask me about Inu, and I, I tell them, it's nice. Before, I didn't know each other, the white teachers. I didn't know even the coaches. And he, he doesn't know where I come from. But when I, I told her, I said, I was born in a country, and I grew up in a country. My, thought, my parents taught me, and they, they know me, who I am. When they asked me first, who are you? I said, I'm Ino, Ino woman. I'm just Ino woman. <laughs> I didn't have no education, white education. That's one I like to when, uh, when I work with white people. I like that. I know a lot of teachers in Penimin when I was at school. And I still think about, like, I saw some here, like Mrs. Otto and Mrs. Turban. I know them. But I was a stop to go in the country in 1951. I didn't go because there was the priest here and they built a school, a small school. That's why Anne went to school, kindergarten. <laughs> I have two girls, two boys. The are educated. Anyway, the all work, <laughs> working. And she's working, Teresa is working, David's working. Well, the only sometimes work. <laughs> because she got a lot, lot of grandchildren, Philip. <laughs> he works with them. <laughs> he look after them. And sometimes he was a few, few months, few weeks. And I have grand, grandchildren. Jimmy and Bowie. And I was one boy. I have to go after them. The other parents, a boy, his name is Edward Nona. Uh, I like my son. I call my son. And Jimmy's working, Louis working. But some of them, they go in school. I saw Gerald here. Mm -hmm. And my great grandchildren they in school here. When they had when I was in the country, well I look up my parents making something. When I tried to make it I try so many times, and then I make like that, like like my grandmother. She makes something, and when she cook, I look up her when she cook. When she cook more bad rich and fish and rub, and I still cooking like that today. <laughs> when I cook like that, they like it. Yeah, 
my grandmother, she teach me about think. Like, like I said before, they teach me in the woods what they call something, like the medicine, you know, medicine. And she, she making medicine. Not only in the woods, the animals too, they got medicine. People got medicine in Nabe, in Karibo. When I when I was teaching in Inoimon, that's the way I teach them what I seen and what I learn from them Inu people when it was the country. I miss sometimes my culture because nothing poisons in there. Just the men hunting and women they're doing in the tent, cooking, sewing. And sometimes the kids are walking with them, picking berries. We always moving around, walking, like canoeing in the summertime. And winter time, we was in snowshoes. We carry our stuff in the bottom. We, we, we never had a skido. Just dark, dim dark. to think to teach the kids like animals how to clean what kind of animals we eat what the names animals everything what we had in the country we, we did to the kids I teach the kids when I was working in Panamit sometimes we had camping picking berries and put the sneers to Robert sneers and hunting porcupine. Sometimes teachers come with us, the way teachers, they like it. But in the fall, they call. <laughs> this is in the tent, they call. The one teacher, he was, <clears throat> he, I think he still goes me. He was very, he said he was, uh, I'm very cold my feet last night. <laughs> you know, that's because the boys, he didn't make a good set up the tent because there was young boys. <laughs> that's why he's cold. I didn't say that, you know, people, good people. <laughs> See, that the different culture and different speakers. I find it when I was working, I like it, you know. I miss my work sometimes. But sometimes, I should, they still call me here to talk to kids. That's what they give a job now. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what <clears throat> my kids, uh, when there was a school here, like I said, I started going in the country in 1951 because uh, my kids was 
go to school. And I'm working. Education is good. If you know two cultures, you're lucky. And you speak two languages. One time <clears throat> when I was teaching Panamian, I was teaching one white, white uh, family kid. He's working. No. One is a pilot that is speaking of. But I didn't teach to the, how to work a pilot eh? airplane. I didn't teach them. I just teach them language. And using when he's working up, I saw sometimes in Bush Bay. And he speak Eno. You know, he's very good speaking you know. And his sister, too. He was just speaking when he was in Nino. His sister is here now. He's uh, in uh, just Castle Castle He's staying now. And that boy, he's in Gospe. He's a pilot. Every time I saw him, he's singing to me in no alphabet. <laughs> As I did before. When I started, the first time I was so, so scared. I was scared to confuse them. But until when he visited this uh, mom and his dad, and I said, did you send in my class you, your kids? They, they said, yes. I was teaching me in the language. It's good to two languages, no. That's nice. From the language part, she said that we will lose it if we don't do something about it, if the leaders do not do something about it. On the no, they know Not the one they know in the culture. Yeah, in the culture and to continue educating the students here in our one. Intended to teach you a stone than any in Noja. And one bad night in Wasa than the Cosfidian in Wasa. I basically explicitly. You mean to add that uh, education should include our culture and language, and that the students be taken out on on the land to practice the Inu way of life and the language. It's very important to preserve that and to practice that. Yeah. <laughs>